everyone welcome back to the channel my name is asmita and here i'm back with a new video and a topic for today time is a flicker concept but elaborating on that statement will make this video a bit too philosophical because today we are going to be discussing how to manage time for project efficiently While speaking of time, the 24-hour clock, 7 days a week and 12 months a year are term primarily that comes to mind. While working project, the main goal is to distribute our time evenly with a clearly estimated start and finish date relating to those terms that I mentioned previously. The ability to manage your time efficiently is important. Good time management leads to improved efficiency and productivity, less stress and more success in life. So without wasting time, let's get into how we can manage time more efficiently. Project time management involves analyzing and developing a schedule and a timeline for project completion. Formalized time management process provide a buffer for things like unexpected roadblocks and misestimated project timelines. This time management plans determine what tasks to adjust and how to allocate and manage resources throughout the project. Starting by setting goals. How do you get to where you want to go in life? Here's a time-honored time management strategy. First, you have to set goals and know what you want. Set goals for both your private and professional life. Do you want an app developed? Do you want to complete a certain task for your project? Have an employee outing because you care about healthy workplace? Jot down your goals down, refer to them often to stay focused. Once you've established what your big picture goals are, you can break them down to smaller tasks that you can consistently work towards. Like deciding who is in charge of planning the employee outing, when it will be, how will you make sure it doesn't clash with the employee work time, but doesn't take away too much of their personal time and so on. Always remember to track your time. Some people are good at managing budget, knowing how much money they can earn and what their monthly expenses are. You can do the same accounting with your time. Keep track for a week of how long it takes you and your team to do a basic task that are as common as getting a coffee in the morning to complete a bigger task related to undertaking. It is common for people to overestimate how long it takes to do a simple task and underestimate how long it takes to do a larger task. If you write down and see on paper how you are spending your time, it will help you to manage it better. Establish the priorities. We all have tasks to do on varying importance. Something needs to be done right now, other tasks needed to be done soon, and others are neither important nor urgent. Write down a list of tasks and put them into one of the four categories. Tasks that are important and urgent need to be done first. Things are important but not urgent should be done next. Tasks that are not important but urgent are placed in a separate category. Things that are neither important nor urgent are in the final category. You are managing your time well and minimizing stress when you have few things in the urgent and important category as possible. The pace at which the project is developing will free most balance when you spend your time on tasks that are important but not urgent. Always remember to keep a schedule. You have set your goals, track how you spend your time and have prioritized what next to be done. Now make a plan, but it's important to be flexible. Does your team work best early in the morning or late in the afternoon? Does their energy drop after lunch and pick after tea time? Know your team the best. If you have a big project in the yard, do you like to do it all at once or would rather do a little bit at a time over several days? It is better if you work with your strength and plan work at times, when you know your team will be most productive. Schedule by when a certain task or milestone should be achieved based on the speed you think your team can reach and at once that could be pleased the stakeholders. Create a schedule that fits your need and the undertaken project. Learn to delegate. No man is an island. Chances are that there are people at your organization with skills and time to help you deliver some of the tasks you struggle with or simply don't have time for. It's actually advised to find the tasks you can delegate so you can focus on more important and urgent ones. To spot available team members with skills needed for a specific task, use a resource management tool. In Team Deck, for example, 
you may quickly filter all employees by their role and view their booking and availability in a simple calendar view. In delegating work, you may actually show your employees that you value their input, empower them to make decisions and, if needed, limit yourself to supervising them. This way, you not only have less on your plate, but let your subcoordinate grow professionally too. Summarize each day. Keeping daily summaries of your work helps you to discover where you did well and what remains to be done. At the end of the day, take a look at your list and check the tasks you have completed. Seeing what you have managed to accomplish it is a great way to get motivated for the next day. If there are still unsolved tasks on your list, ask yourself why you haven't finished them and find solution to them. Maybe the task was too broad and divided into smaller assignment will help you better organize work. Now we are obviously watching this video because budget time management has its benefit. But let's see what exactly those benefits are. That you have an idea on how to better manage your time. Properly manage type result in much less stress because project completion plan reduce stress level associated with a meeting deadline. It also lead to increased productivity because with a plan, we know what to prioritize, what increase productivity, and we focus on the most beneficial and strategic need. As a result, we only focus on one aspect of project, and that helps get the right work done and prevents mistake overall. Proper planning of time also meets having a timeline in the place for project, which provides a view into what team need to work on and when, making them and the organization more proficient with all the work which in turn help team or department become more efficient at managing project and getting them completed on time and on budget. This opens more opportunity to manage additional project in future. Everyone knows the phrase, time is money. Keeping a project on target not only maintains budget, but also keeps stakeholders happy. That, that dollars are working in the most efficient, valuable way. To dumb it down, it helps a project manager stay on budget. As you can tell, effective time management simply makes life easier as a sin, something good and beneficial everywhere. I hope you put it into practice all that I have told you today in this video. If you are interested in learning more about project management, we have a lovely book recommendation for you in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you for watching this video.